ladies and gentlemen, we are all in the finals now. All the players that we're going to see from this moment forward have won at least their game in the preliminaries, and they have earned their spot in the semifinals. It has been a great tournament so far, and I know all of you are probably just as hyped as I am for these semifinals. I think it's going to be off the chain, just unbelievable gameplay. And you're going to get to see it live right here on OPTV, folks. Hype it up in the chat for our players. We are on Crater and our players on the left-hand side taking a Neo. Rex in a Neo, folks. That alone is cause for some hype. His opponent on the right-hand side with some fish. <laughs> He's going to go for some swimming. It is our boy, LOL. Because I said I was not going to say all those letters ever again. LOL drops down some shooters to try to help him neutralize the outpost. But as an Osprey, it just takes so long to do it that his creep wave is already there. Meanwhile, Rex, on the other hand, even though he's a Neo, the Neo is has more power in those guns than an Osprey does. And because of that, Rex had already neutralized his outpost, took it over. It's once again gonna fly man Rex should become part of Blue Angels or something because I mean he is always putting on an air show for all you folks as he flies around how can you not love it how can you not show him some love with his tournament cup Rex cup come on cup, folks Rex cup hype come on someone in the chat throw up a Rex cup let's see them the Rex cup and the Rex cup old all the jokes right there Meanwhile, LOL, on the other hand, going a complete shooter strategy. Now, while that will do a lot of damage and move in, especially now with 26 of them out on the battlefield, he really needs to be careful when something like this happens. When they all get to a certain point and they all grew up, up together like that. Now, Rex does not have bombs. However, as a Neo... He did upgrade his stasis ability, so he can drop down, quickly slam his stasis ability, get back up in the air, do some damage, try to stop these shooters before it's too late. Or, on the other hand, not even care about the shooters at all, and just completely focus on getting that upper right factory, taking it over, and just gonna go that way. LOL is LOLing. <laughs> Because he was killed by a neutral hat. Guys, neutrals, too strong. Needs to be nerfed. What can we say? There we go. Now Rex is at a point he's going to start focusing on some of those shooters. You can see with a single stasis blast, 50 hit points drop off of pretty much each and every one of them. But he's not too worried. He's in a great position right now with that base being taken over. So many jackals, so many tanks. To be honest... He doesn't care. He doesn't give a crap about the shooters at all, folks. And for those of you that are playing that are saying, shooters are too strong, I play against people in Matchmaker who use shooters and I can't beat them. Folks, Rex just showed you how to beat them. Don't care about them too much. Just focus on what you want to do. Now, right now, LOL is in a bad shape. He doesn't have a lot here in his defense at all. He's trying to deploy a few shooters, but this is just so much damage. He goes down. This is probably game one already, folks. And this is how to handle someone that relies on shooters in Matchmaker. You just learned here, folks. Not only do you get to have good times on OPTV, not only... You get to see some awesome gameplay. Not only do you get to win awesome stoof, but you also learn how to play the game. First blood happening after the completion of the game itself. Not much else I can say about that, folks. Anyway, that is only game one of this best of three series. LOL now gets map choice. So, folks, don't go anywhere because game two should be starting very shortly.